Okay, here we are. Thursday, March the 26th. Okay, uh, March the 26th. Uh, today we're going to work on the butterfly kite. We're going to talk a little bit about area again because I forgot to do that yesterday. Uh, this is uh, I'm, I'm Chuck Jones. Uh, I own River City Kites. Uh, River City Kites is located at 5519 Highway 153, Suite 6. Okay, Suite 6. Uh, and right where the old Holcombs used to be, uh, not in the same building, but in that red brick building next to it, across from Berean Lane. Okay, now I uh, just wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a butterfly kite, and in, in honor, as my shout out for this for this time, I honor. Uh, I want to honor all of us who are in the process of transforming. Okay, and uh, be, and because uh, we have a caterpillar that goes to a butterfly. Uh, we are always improving, okay? We are always improving. Our transformations always lead to a better me, okay? Got to be positive about it, okay? And the way we're going to do this, okay, this is an interesting technique. Uh, uh, I learned about this on the American Kite Flyers website, okay? If you go there and go under uh, uh, what's going on, uh, this, this is some uh, shaving cream. Okay, it can be any kind of shaving cream. Uh, I want to uh, maybe smooth it over a little bit. Maybe if I drop it, uh, smooth it over a little bit. You want to smooth it so that it's uh, so that it's level. Okay, as much as possible. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I'm not ready to choose that just yet, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my. Uh, well, first of all, I need my my butterfly. Okay, I need my butter. I need my butterfly uh, pattern. Okay, and butterfly patterns. Okay, first of all, the one we're going to use looks like this right here. But we're only going to use half of this, right? Okay, so when we go to measure it, let's measure this down. Uh, let's measure down uh, three inches. Okay, three inches down to right here. Okay, down to right here. Okay, and then we're going to uh, we're going to come down about half an inch, right down here, about half an inch, about one eighth of an inch in. Okay, okay, so I have that right there now. Okay, right here, down to right here. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to, this is three inches, uh, then we're going to come out, uh, we're going to go out away from the edge two and a half inches. So two and a half inches here, and I'm going to draw a line from Okay, that distance right there is two and a half right here. I'm gonna draw a line from this half inch mark down here up to here, okay? And it could be a curved line slightly. Doesn't really matter actually. Okay. And then we're gonna come straight down. Okay, we're gonna come down. Let's see, let's make a mark here. Oh, about two and a quarter inch. About two and a quarter inch down here. We're gonna come out away about one and five eighths inches. One and five eighths inches. Okay. So I went down two two and a quarter mark down here, two and a quarter inches down here, and then one and uh, uh, one and a quarter out this direction. I made a little mark right here. Okay, that's where I'm gonna come straight down and then curve into that spot. Okay. Now the butterfly itself. Is about four and an eighth inches. Uh, the the wing goes about four and an eighth inch down. Okay, uh, so uh, and and the and the lower wing is about two and a quarter inch out from there. Okay, so what I've got here, I went down four inches, went out.
went out to about two and a quarter inches over here. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come from here. I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna come up about that. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm drawing my my butterfly, half my butterfly. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, when I cut it out, I want to make sure I cut right along that top little piece right there. Okay, right here. And then cut over to it. Okay, so I have a little edge there, okay? And then I'm going to cut in over here. And I'm gonna, now, the reason why I do this, it gives me something, it gives me a flat surface to, to, to uh, uh, use my tape on. Okay. Now I have, now I have this right here, okay? Okay, oops. So it's three inches from here down to here, but it's four inches from up here all the way down to the bottom, okay, right in here, okay? This is about two and a half inches out, I think, and this was about two and a quarter inches out from there, okay? Not, not a real science, okay? You can try a different one next time. Uh, look on the, uh, look on the internet and find you some pictures of butterflies, okay? And then make your own uh, uh, design, basically, because they're all different kinds of butterflies. You can do dragonflies, butterflies, you know, it's really cool. The, the number of insects there are out there is just astounding, okay? In the world, it, the, the study of insects is called entomology. E-N-T-O-M-O, -O, entomology. L-O-G-I-S-T, entomologist. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take my coffee filter, okay, it could be a regular size coffee filter, this one just happens to be a big one that I happen to have found, okay. I'm, I, I, I just fold it in half, I take my pattern, and I lay it right on top of that, uh, right on the edge, toward the center. Okay, I'm gonna take a, a pin, and I'm gonna draw around my pattern, right onto the coffee filter. Okay, just like that. Okay, now, uh, before I cut it out, yeah, we can go and cut it out. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it out. I'll just say you could also leave it on there and then cut it out later. Uh, it might be cool to do it this other way. Okay, let me do the pattern on the other side too. I'm using a light table, so it's easy for me to see the marks underneath it as well. Okay, now when I open it up, I'll, I'll have marks on both sides, you see. So I got my butterfly. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my butterfly right now, okay? And I'm gonna use washable uh, markers, okay? Now, usually I'll use permanent markers in a lot of my kite making, but with this, I wanna use washable markers. And I'll show you why in a second. I hope this works. Uh, 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 I'm gonna have to come up with a. Uh, let's see here.
Okay, I hope you're doing, I hope you're decorating your butterfly now. Okay, so here's what I've got, okay, for my butterfly, okay? Okay, maybe I'll put a little bit of brown right here in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to uh, lay this on top of my, on top of my shaving cream. And I'm just going to dab it around right there and just let it sit for a second, okay? When I pull it up, it's not quite doing what I wanted. Uh, it's supposed to spread. Hmm. Okay. If you look on the AK website, in the section for education, you'll find kites that you can make, kite kits, okay? And there are some on miniature kites. And there's a whole bunch of different patterns that they give you, which is really cool. And they give you the dimensions and uh, et cetera. So I would suggest you do that and check it out so that you can try it your own, okay? I'm forgetting. It could be, I know that you can use food coloring on here too. So if you did food coloring and then you swirl it around, then you get that marbled effect, which is what this other one looks like right here. That's what I did on this one, okay? Uh, so you get that marbled effect when you use uh, uh, food coloring. And I ran out of food coloring, didn't have any with me, but uh, I thought I could do it with this marker. So clearly I was somewhat mistaken here. Let's go ahead and pull it off. We're gonna go ahead and, and uh, uh, scrape it clean of the shaving cream okay it may have, it may anyway anyway we're gonna let it we're gonna let it dry like this okay so that we can uh, then okay it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool anyway okay and I want to cut this out right now too well let's go ahead and let it dry Cut it out. Now you want to fold it back so that both sides are right on top of each other, right where they were before. Okay. There we go. I'll cut this out right here. on the wet side. It's best if you let this dry. Okay. Should have had another one sitting inside. It already dried. Okay. You're going to get better as this goes on. This pod video podcasting is not very easy. And I haven't quite learned the technique yet. Okay, I'm going to spread this out again. Okay, if I had a hair dryer, I could blow dry it. That would get drier quicker, wouldn't it? You might have one in your house. Open sesame. The butterfly must open its wings. If I can find it. Where is it? Come on now. Drive me crazy. There we go. Now we're getting there. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Oh. That's what we got so far. It's all cut out. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Uh, I don't think either side of these is 
better than the other. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of grass for my uh, vertical stick. Okay, I'm going to pick a somewhat thicker one, I guess. Uh, they do have wings. They do have antenna. Hmm. Not worry about the antenna right now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise, and I want this to be about an inch long piece of tape. So I'm gonna cut in half long ways. I'm gonna slide that tape underneath my. I'm not sure if this tape's gonna work very good on this uh, stuff that hadn't hadn't dried yet. Okay, I'm gonna put my stick on my stick on there. Oops, it didn't. Came right off. Hmm. This is just not working. And that is just too bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this other one while I'm waiting for that one to dry. We're gonna use this one right here that's uh, already dried. Okay. So we switched to, I've switched to my other one. You just let yours dry. It's best if you let it dry. Okay, I'm gonna get some clean tape. I'm gonna start over on this baby. Okay, I get about an inch. I cut it in half lengthwise. Okay, now I got two, two pieces about an inch long cut lengthwise. I'm gonna slide that under there. I'm gonna slide this one under here. I'm going to get my stick again, put it on there, it's a little longer this time. stick on there. Now I'm going to do my other sticks. Okay, now for this right here, I could use grass. <clears throat> it would be pretty neat. I would need small pieces. Okay, small pieces. And, uh, and these look like they might be small enough. Take that one there. It's going to get bent into that right there. <clears throat> Notice when I do this, I want to, I want to put my finger at the edge, okay, and then bend my stick as I do it. I don't know if you can see that. Bend it as I do it, okay. Uh, and I want another piece that same size and, if possible, the same thickness. So I look for a piece of grass that's the same thickness as the one I just used. Okay, and I'm not sure if that one's thick enough. It's, it's, now, this will work for, uh, fishing line will work for this too. And it does a pretty good job, actually. Okay, I think we're going to go at this end right here. Here we go. Here's a piece of grass that's about the same. Thickness. Now I'm going to get the same length. Okay, now I need uh, two for the bottom. Okay, and they're going to be... Okay, so I've got two cross pieces for the top and two for the bottom. The ones on the bottom are shorter. Okay, I try to get grass that's the same thickness and the same bend. I get another piece of inch long tape and I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise. Okay, I'm gonna put one of these right here. I'm gonna put it one of them right right here. Okay. Coming from the back other side of the kite and the back around. Okay, so there's where it is. And this one right here I'm gonna put on this end flush to the leading edge but sticking out from the leading edge with the wingtip. 
And here's the oven down here. Okay. I'm going to put this one on here. Okay, I want the, uh, if there is a longer, I mean a thicker end, put the thicker end up at the top. No, let's see here. Put the thicker end at the bottom, put the thinner end up at the top. Wrap the tape over. The stick should be parallel to the leading edge. Okay, then it's going to be sticking out further, you see. It's not really going to reach uh, down, but we're going to pull it down until it gets to that piece of tape. Okay, and you're going to have to put a little bow in it, a little pressure, you don't want to break it. Having done that, we now have one piece, now that's a little further up than I wanted it to be. We're going to see if we can push it down a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, so I need this uh, piece of tape, same length, about, about that same inch that you were using, okay. You can cut it lengthwise. Uh -huh. I'm slide it under there, and I'm slide it under over here. So once again, I've got it on the end over here, and I've got it over here. I'm going to put it so that it looks, this, it looks just like the other one, the other piece of stick. So I've got that, I put it on, I put the, again, the, the uh, thinner end is up at the top. I lay it right along the edge, parallel to the edge of the kite, and maybe a sixteenth of an inch down, and I pull it in, and I, I bow it. I'll put that bow in here. I want it the same distance away from the corner of the kite down there. Okay. Okay, now we have this right here. Okay. And now we're going to put these other two, again, same amount of tape. I'm going to go ahead and cut two of them, two sets of them. Okay. Put one, oops, maybe. Let's see. Now, I've laid them right here, you see, so that. Yeah, there we go. Same distance away. Now I'm going to lay that tape across. I'm going to lay that one stick down to that edge. I'm going to do the same thing the other one. And now they're going to cross at the center at the same place. Okay, so you want to hold it so that they're crossing the same place. Okay, crossing at the same place. Okay, I'm going to put these on here, okay, to hold them down. There's it. I'm going to do a hats off to uh, uh, all the, the students that I've taught over the years uh, in uh, with kite building. And, uh, and and let me just name a few. We have uh, East Lake Academy. I do a kite club there three times a month. I'm sorry to be missing them. Uh, uh, I've done a number of workshops in North Georgia. Lafayette Elementary North. Okay. Saddle Ridge elementary middle a couple times there rock creek rock springs elementary cherokee hills cherokee ridge in Ch chickamauga 
Where else? Oh, I'm missing another place. Uh, okay. Uh, I've done them uh, all, over the, all over the country, actually, the East Coast. I've done them at the uh, uh, Upper Susquehanna Quaker meeting. Uh, they're right on the New York border, New York, New York State border. Beautiful place. Uh, I've done it for uh, Delaware Camden meeting, the, the Quaker meeting there. I've done it for uh, Richmond, Virginia's Quaker meeting, and I've done them at Quaker conferences for the last five summers. God bless. Okay, now I do need tales for this, and I do want to talk real quick about the area. Okay, so let's talk about the area first since I forgot about it last week. Okay, <clears throat> first of all, we have this handy dandy chart. Okay, and I, what I've done here is I have, oops, I have, uh, oh, uh, I made a one foot by one foot square. Okay, so each side of this square is a foot. Okay, and then I am going to, uh, 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 and then I measured it off into 12 pieces. So there's 12 inches on one side, 12 inches on the other side. All together, if you put all these squares in here, you'd have 144 of them. And that's how we know that one square foot equals 144 square inches. Okay, so it, uh, on, a, on a kite like a, uh, like a uh, butterfly kite, it's not easy necessarily to find the area of this. But if we just lay it on top of this square, of these squares right here and then trace over it which I'm going to do right now okay let's see I probably need a block for this one okay if I trace over it Okay, like so. Now I can just count how many squares I've got in there, and that's how many square inches I'll have. Okay, so let's just see. Here's a, a full square. Okay, full square, full square. Okay. So here's full squares right here, okay? These are those are square inches. Okay, square inches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight square. That's eight square uh, inches right there. Okay, but that's not right, is it? That's not that's the, that's the smallest area it would be. Now, if I look at the squares that cover around it, okay. Uh, which is going to be, looks like this whole thing right here. Okay. Then I'm looking at uh, uh, all these spaces in here, you see. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to cover it all in. Uh, but... It gives me a whole bunch, okay, plus some on the outside. So how many of these purple squares do I have? I've got, uh, well, if I, if, I, if I get the area of this whole thing, it'd be 5 times 6. That's 30, 30 squares. Okay, now that's not right either. That's too big. <clears throat> so it's somewhere between 8 and 30. And if we get the average of those things, we add them up. Get 38 and divide by 2. Because there's two numbers, we get 19 square inches. So there's about 19 square inches here. Now, if you counted up all these little pieces of, of uh, the butterfly that, that don't make up a square and you averaged them out, kind of estimate, you'd probably come close to 19. Okay? So we're about at the end of our time. Okay? You'll use two tails on this kite. One that comes down here, one that comes down here, about uh, ten, uh, about three feet long. Okay, bye bye now.